Good afternoon, relationship, and I'm John Sisbidia Truder. Welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. Well, last time, uh, well, we murdered her, actually. But um, now we're back in time and playing as her friend. Well, not really her friend. We don't exactly uh, get on that well. But uh, she's not dead yet, anyway. Yet being the operative word. You've got about, like, 72 hours tops, I'm afraid. So, yes, now we're playing as Abby. And we've got to get over there. And I'm hoping, uh, yeah, what we're doing is going to become a bit more clear once we get there. Because... Uh, I can't help but notice during the last part, yeah, it kind of felt a little bit worryingly like the game was starting to uh, run out of steam a bit. No new mechanics, no new enemies, uh, everything felt very easy and very much what we'd seen before, just with, you know, a protagonist with slightly different hair. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we've got going on at the forward operating base, because uh, as I understand it, yeah, I'm pretty sure... We've not been there before. That's no. So, yeah, we might be able to find some fun new stuff over there. Because that's one place Ellie has not been. Gotta be careful, though, because, yeah, there's... There's more trouble, yeah. We're hearing whistling at the far side of here. Just be ready. Yeah. And drop. Stay hidden if you can. Okay. Uh... Maybe a bomb? How about... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. One, two... Okay, that did some good work. Right over there. That'll do as a starting point. Now, you guys just... Wow, you didn't die. Well, you appear to be dead. And then... No. Never mind. Ow. Bloody hell. Right, what's on? Oh, they've got many Molotovs. Okay, guys. Guys, problems. I've made a mistake. There's way more of them than I thought there were going to be. Get into cover. Ow. The stupid dog got in the damn way. Everything's fine, apart from the fact it's not. And... Uh, wait. No, you... I think someone was up the side of me. Okay, there are way more there than I was expecting. Now, seriously, I need to get both of these guys in a single bomb. So, right there. That's more flipping like it. And... Boop. Right, you can go straight down. Now we get inside here and get into cover. Okay? Beautiful. So now we just gun them down as they come. And anytime you're ready, where are we? Running out of ammo. Oh, that's a... That was a bomb of some description. Something just... No, it wasn't. Ow! Bloody hell. Oh, they're everywhere. They're on all cocking sides. This is... This is not good. My own friends keep knocking my aim away. Which is not... Not good. Not flipping good. That's... That's no good at all. You're over there. Oh, good. I just need to... I just needed to hold out for a while. Good. That would explain why there were so bloody many of them. Because reinforcements, as it turns out. And uh, save the ammo. Okay. That would explain why problems. Also, apparently I was hit with... Oh, I was shot by an hour at some point. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, so, yes. WLF showing up. Bunch of dicks. Murdered children. Not doing a great job convincing me they were right all along there. Just need to mop up any uh, loot and ammo and whatnot. Then again... These guys are like, you know, a proper military force, or kind of, anyway. Like, you know, last time we were at one of their bases, they just gave us uh, free ammo. So, if we're very lucky indeed, we can have some more free ammo. Right, don't bother healing just yet, because, well, I could do, but let's just wait to see if I'm going to be given a free heal. We're going into a cutscene right now, so... Alright, guys, thanks for the assist. Really bloody appreciate it. Almost there. Open the gates. Let them through. No. What? Look back. Squeeze this as hard as you can, okay? Holy shit. I didn't even feel it. Hey! We got two. Okay, he's got a gunshot wound to the hand. Hey. We did all right back there. It was almost a compliment. Go get help. Stay, Alice. Come on, it's this way. Sit. That was a lot of blood, right? She shouldn't be out. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. Hey, 
Hey, who we got here? Hey, come on, girl. This is Alice. Come on, Alice. Good girl. Thank you. These new recruits, I don't trust them. Thanks again, guys. Well, we know one of them's going to betray them. What was his name? Greg, the guy who, uh, yeah, left the note. So, whether that's already happened or not, unclear. And we got somebody over here. Possibly someone who's going to let me through. Hey, you done with Monte Cristo yet? Uh, almost. Give me another week. I'm at the end. That shit's getting good. One week. Thanks. Ah, they're trading like, you know, books, films, etc. Gotcha. Right, let's go find ourselves, presumably, somebody in charge who... Yeah, if it's not Owen, we probably haven't met yet. Though, bear in mind, of course, one thing I forgot about is... Uh, Abby ends up in prison at some point. I swear that was mentioned in the hospital. Checking in. Hey, you two. What you got for us? No assignment. Just says report to Isaac. Both of us? Yeah. Okay, Isaac. Never been this busy here. Something's going down. We better find Isaac. We should make sure Mel's okay first. Yeah, we've heard Isaac being mentioned, but I'm not sure we've ever seen him as yet. I don't know any of these people. Come on. You? What are you waiting for here? Okay, people, settle down. Now, what's settle going on down. here? Heard your complaints and more. and we appreciate your patience. Okay, whatever's going on there, I can't listen in properly, and I'm guessing that yeah, we know there's going to be a, a counterattack that's not going to go very well in Scar territory. I'm guessing that's being planned. And oh, there's Alice, who's a good girl. Hey, Alice. Hang in there, girl. We're gonna get you out of here soon. Okay, Alice, not thrilled about that, and. Sorry, did you not put any water in her water bowl? Dogs should have water in their water bowls. Okay, I now no longer feel bad about, you know, murdering these people. Because they've been keeping dogs outside in the sun with empty water bowls. And also... Okay, uh, Marley is... Marley's a rock. Or like a pallet or something. Right, fascinating. Good stuff there. Well, in all fairness, you know what? We know a pallet is always bloody useful from the first game if you happen to not know how to swim. And as I was expecting, yes, free ammo. I'll be having that, thank you. Abby, come here, sir. Okay, somebody knows who I am. Hello there, whoever you are. Yeah? Heard about your ambush. Where'd they hit you? Uh, right around here. Near the warehouses. Oh, shit. They keep slipping past our lines. Hey, you know where Isaac is? Uh, he was here a few minutes ago. Okay, thanks. We'll look around. Okay, nothing major. They're just trying to figure out exactly what went on. And yeah, let's go and just say hello before we actually uh, move on. Check that uh, Mel's okay. Looks pretty bad, huh, Doc? I've seen worse. Hold yes, still. And yeah, a few people here and there. Mel, where's Mel got herself to? Aha, okay. uh -huh, here she is. Next room over. Could have been much worse, though. Mm. Speak of the devil. Hey, guys. How you doing, Melon? Just a few more stitches, and I'll be good as new. You guys need to convince this girl to relax. Hey, Mel. Relax. You got it. Hey, um, I need some muscle, so can you two give me a hand or something? Don't move. All right, so there's Nora. And we know Nora was fairly Let's loyal see. to Abby. Gave up in the end under torture, but wanted Nora, to be loyal. You had a chance to relax? Oh, I'm shipping out to the Westside Hospital in a few. Orders are to get everything. How's Mel? Really? Well, the baby's vitals were a little elevated, but I'm not worried. Someone should get word to Owen. He'll want to be here for her. Yeah. I need to show you guys something. What is it? Follow me. And is this... Oh, blimey, that's... Oh, my God. That's a lot of corpses. Are these all ours? Yeah. And more are coming in by the hour. Yep, Scar's situation getting out of hand. You can't tell Mel, all right? Nora. Just not yet. Come here. This can't be... 
Leah because she still needs to be there on what end of day one, early day two for for Ellie to find. So who's this? Who's in that body bag? Holy shit! It's Danny. Where's Owen? I don't know. A few days back, there were some scar sightings out by the marina. Danny and Owen were sent on a sweep. And this morning, the guards found Danny collapsed by the perimeter fence. He'd walked himself back with a bullet in his stomach. Pinches scars, hijos puta. Isaac talked with him until he passed, but as far as I can tell, there's no units going back that way. So what about Owen? Did you ask Isaac what happened? Yeah, I tried. But he gave me that, that fucking look, and then he told me to keep quiet about it. Which means you can't say shit. Owen's a big boy. I'm sure he's fine. Where is Isaac? I'll be discreet. Last I heard, he was um, in the apartments. Okay, I'm gonna go check up on Mel, so. Let me know what you guys find out. Yeah. Okay, so not good. Why the hell hasn't Isaac sent out a search party for Owen? Maybe he has and just didn't tell Nora. I fucking hope so. So, yeah, this is... Well, if we put all the information we've got together, it's not painting a good picture of the, uh, of the wolves. Which is, uh, there was a truce. We know there was a truce. And at this point, yeah, even the wolves themselves have confirmed while we're playing as them... Uh, they opened fire on children. They gunned down children. Now, we don't know what those children were doing, whether they were just, like, you know, throwing stones or whether they actually posed a genuine risk. But, uh, yeah, if you've got a truce and you start gunning down the other side's children, then uh, you've kind of only got yourselves to blame when the truce collapses and all of a sudden you've got a tent full of body bags. And, yeah, also uh, the fact that your own side starts actually, you know... Uh, changing sides uh, when you find all of a sudden that uh, the other side are responding with uh, kindness and supplies when you're gunning down kids. So yeah, okay. Uh, hope the purpose of this wasn't to be, you know, telling me all about how good the wolves were because honestly, uh, aside from that very first twist about the stadium that caught me off guard, uh, I'm not coming to a good opinion of the wolves or of Abby just yet. Abby seems uh, fairly rude and dismissive, particularly towards... Uh, Mel and the wolves, yes, the whole murdering children. Sorry to get stuck on that, but you know, murdering children is quite on the bad side. Alright, next up, gotta find ourselves an Isaac somewhere here in this apartment building, and... I don't miss this place. Yep, there's, um, there's the torture. There's the torture going on. So that's, uh, that's unfortunate. How much more torture do we have uh, going on, by the way? After our morning... I wouldn't mind a few minutes with these guys. I hear that. Yep, they're being held in unpleasant stress positions, aren't they? Yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of that. And yep, there's some mopping up from some other murder or torture. Yeah, okay, I'm a little bit surprised here, which is I was kind of working under the assumption the whole point of this section would be to, uh, you know, uh, contextualise things as, hey, uh, the wolves are actually way more justified than you initially thought, because from their point of view, you're evil, and the Sith are actually good, but like, no. You know, when you make someone do a walk past Torture Lane, then you've made the choice to show them at their worst, and then you've got Abby saying, oh yeah, I'd love to torture some bound prisoners who are helpless and whatnot. That's a thing I'd love to do. So, yeah, okay. I'm feeling less uncomfortable with Ellie killing Abby, to be perfectly honest, which strikes me as counter to how things were going so far, and that person literally just... Yeah, that's a person who's been mentally broken and is now cowering from me. 
That's a thing that's happening. Okay, so... Yeah, okay. I'm now 100% on Team Kill Abby. That's fine. So, if that was the point, yeah, I'm now on board game. Let's flip and do it. Hey, Abby. We need to go up. Hezek's in there. Oh. Do you know if he'll be long? Saved again when you two arrive. Come on. Sir, Abby and Manny are here. Don't let him fall asleep. Yes, sir. Let's go up. Two ran into some trouble. No losses on our side, just some minor injuries. Can't say the same for them. Wish I was hearing more of that. Never seen the base this packed. Can give it another day. Still waiting on some units. What's going on, boss? Small skirmishes. Can't keep going like this. Then... what? We could try another truce. But how long before some asshole on their side... ...or our side unravels the whole thing? No. It has to be all of them. Sir, we'd try attacking their island. Not like this. Not with everyone. It's a big storm a few days out. We're gonna use it to mask our approach. You two are gonna lead the first wave. Pick your squads, start prepping. I want Owen. When are he and Danny getting back? Talk, Nora. No secrets between the Salt Lake crew, huh? Is someone okay? As far as I know. Then, then why haven't you sent a search party after him? He shot Danny. Apparently to protect some scar. It's bullshit. Excuse me? That's not Owen. You got it wrong. You're saying Danny used his last breath to lie to me? Sir, people hear that story. Owen's dead. Anyone who finds him, they'll gun him down for sport. And I suggest you all stop gossiping about it. Let me go after him. I'll walk him back in, we'll get to the No. Bottom. You said yourself the storm's a few No. Days. We've only got one shot at this. And this is bigger than any of us. Definitely bigger than Owen. If he turns up, then fine. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And we'll get to the bottom of it. I need you, Abby. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Good. Look over the plans and go through your roster. Grab some food. We'll talk later. No way Owen killed Danny over some scar, right? What? No. 
Abby, don't. I'll be back by morning. You just gotta cover me till then. I said we'll kick your ass. Not before the assault. You heard him, he needs me. If Owen's out there, how the hell are you going to find him? I know where he'll go. Okay, apparently Owen really likes Ferris wheels. And right, another flashback. So yeah, a year after the hospital events. What? Seriously, stop it! <laughs> All right. Why don't you come on over and enjoy this view with me then? It's great. It's the best. Oh. <laughs> Come on. We made it all the way up here just so you could wimp out on the last two steps. Yeah. Yes, deal was to get up here, so. Mm. All right, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get your ass over here, sit on the edge, or you can go down here on the kid seat and look at this view with me. We can't miss training. Really? Not even just for one night? No. Nope. Talk about it. It's getting late. Yeah. Okay. Don't. Don't, do not, it is too high. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. You know, I don't think I can live like this anymore, Abby. Owen, I'm serious, I will break up with you. Owen. I always love you. Don't! Owen! Okay, so basically Owen's a dick and I'm kind of glad he's dead, so that's fine. Oh my god. And... No! Just wait. Just wait. He can't hold his breath forever. He's being a dick and a troll right now. So what we're gonna do is wait him out. Alright, Captain Bloody Aquaman. How about you just try and hold your breath forever? Because I can wait much longer above the water than you... Oh, bloody hell, the game cheats. If you try and wait too long, then the game just forces you to jump. Because it thought that I might say that. Or he's hiding under the pier or something. He might well be. Abby! I'm down here, you asshole. You jumped? And I missed it? I thought you drowned. And you came to my rescue? No. <laughs> I came to make sure you drowned. <laughs> uh, I found something pretty awesome. What? I think you're gonna have to follow me to see it. It better be a sea otter. I'm not leaving the Seattle Aquarium and the surrounding area without one oh, sea otter, or rather to be precise, two. Because they hold hands when they're asleep and floating and it's adorable. Oh, and... What are they gonna do? Kick out a bunch of displaced fireflies who have nowhere else to go? Maybe. I don't want to find out. Just come see this thing. It better be sea otters. Anything other than sea otters, I am Brad. disappointed. And we're going somewhere. Where are we? Where are we going? Is this into the aquarium? I'm not sure where we are in terms of everything. Well, this is slightly risky in terms of everything. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, flip it to the aquarium and there's actually fish! There's actually fish, yes! What is this place? I don't know. You wanna keep going? Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this. This is the aquarium scene I wanted, damn it! All right, let's go find ourselves some sea otters. Yes, it might actually be sea otters. I'm very excited by this possibility. So just getting over here 
There's a handful of little fish. This place is crazy. I think it's like one of those uh, zoos, but for fish. Shut up. Check this water puff out. I saw this seal the other day. It's covered in spots. They don't have spots. They're brown. Those are sea lions. No. No, you don't know. I know what I saw with my eyes. There it is. There's the sign for sea otters. The world's, hang on, the world's smallest ocean mammal, one of the largest members of the weasel family. The sea otter is one of the few mammals known to use tools to eat and forage. They break open shells and dislodge prey using rocks. That's right, they're really smart, as well as being super cute. So that's, that's all we need. That's all we need. I just need uh, one sea otter, and this entire flashback as Abby will be worth it, alright? I just want a sea otter. Give me my sea otter giraffe moments, damn it, because the zebra was in a lot of pain, so I'm not willing to accept that as, like, this game's giraffe moments. I just want one sea otter. Baby river otter. Okay, up on the walls. That's good. And there's Peanut, the baby sea otter. Come on. Come on, you've literally mentioned sea otters to me. Right there. I need a sea otter. Alright, this is really important to me emotionally right now. Give me the damn otter game. Hey, give me, give me the damn otter. What is this place? Well, clearly this is some sort of theater, but for a uh, fish. <laughs> are you a rooster? What? I'm a wolf. That's my wolf power. You're an idiot. Yeah, but you love this idiot, so, I mean, what's that say about you? <laughs> okay, I think possibly Owen might be a bit dim, like, catastrophically dim. And, yeah, this is maybe, like, a dolphin show or a sea lion show or something. You think this sailboat was part of the show? No, nah, it looks like somebody turned this into a makeshift dock or something. Wanna check it out? Aha! Uh -huh. This might be the, uh, the actual... Owen's boat that was mentioned. This is the day he found it, but I'm guessing it took a lot of fixing up to get it operational. So, okay. Cracker open. And what do we have here? Tiny children's clothing. Really small. There's some kids' clothes. Bet a family came through. Look at these drawings. Okay, get to them in a second, as long as we know there's nothing else. I like the lion. The lion's pretty cute. Okay, and uh, robot, because there is always a robot. Okay. I wonder what happened to him. Maybe they joined the wolves. Family and dog. Yeah, or it got killed by scars. Such an optimist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe that's the the girl who drew the rest of her family there, given there's one of her on her own. And then her again with somebody. Don't know. All right. Leave that be for the time being. All right. Enough of this boat. Yeah. Looks like we got some more stuff over there. You want to go see the rest of the fish zoo? You think there's more to see? Of course. Let's go. Okay. Priority number one. Let's just see if there's anything still in here if we can. Just, you know, what are you doing? dive. You gonna give me an animal show? Um, do I look like a spotted seal? It had spots. And for whatever reason, I'm not allowed to, to dive in this pool. So, okay, fine. Can't do any diving here. Let's keep on keeping on. And, you know, try and find the otter enclosure. That's the important bit of this. Here we go. Door back inside. Sealed, unfortunately. Think you can get through that? Get me up there. Yep. All right. What have we got? What have we got? It better be. Okay, I'd accept an octopus. I would very happily accept an octopus. Here. All right. That'd be. Why not just? Why not just open the door? If the door's locked, just open the door. Oh, shit! Look at you. <laughs> Pushed 185 pounds yesterday. Yeah, right. So, we take a quick look around and then... We head right back. Uh-huh. 
Except that this is nothing, and you're gonna beg me to stay. Not happening. And yeah, Abby's definitely looking a bit more muscly than the back in time a year prior, but she's not as strong as in the future. So yeah, she definitely went on a bit of a journey there. And yeah, the thing is, the tank we saw that had fish in it, yeah, we could see there was a breakout to the ocean. Whereas if these tanks are sealed, then unfortunately, yes, I suspect everything will have long passed on with nobody to feed them, which is very sad indeed, but come on, sea otters. Come on, sea otter pool. Oh my god. Oh, you don't see that every day. Okay, that's a seal with a little <laughs> seal pup. Hey, Owen, no spots. Look at that. Well, the one I saw wasn't bronze either, so... Okay, we're going to be wanting to go upstairs sooner rather than later, but let's just check down here... First, not sure if we're looting or anything, but ooh, something's still alive under there. It's a tank in the floor. Can you imagine this place filled with people, kids laughing, running around? And my dad would love this place. Yeah, he loses a shit over it. Yeah. All right, like a gift shop or something, or maybe like the. The entrance hall? Possibly the entrance hall. I'm claiming this place. It's mine. And no, I've been wanting the aquarium since before I was Abby, so screw you, Owen. You can visit. Oh, you sure? Not really, actually. See how nice you are to me first. Mm, you're a dick. Not a great start. Alright, what have we got here? And kids, if you find this, I want to know I don't blame you. Those Seraphites are selling a good line. Understand why you thought you'd be better off with them. There's food and water in the boat. Take it. Sail away from this place. I know I got too controlling. I just wanted so much for you two to be safe. I hope you see that. Couldn't find antibiotics. Want you to know I love you. Ricky, keep watching out for Max. You owe him that. Okay. Seraphites selling a good line. Well, yeah. I mean, we've not actually seen Seraphites outside of their hunting patterns, so we don't know whether they've actually got, you know, any form of proper civilization, food, shelter, etc. We don't know whether they're offering a real better deal than the wolves. We know the wolves are doing pretty incompetently and badly, so uh, who knows, to be honest. Maybe Abby's going to find out. I think it's the same family from the boat. That'd be my guess, yeah. Okay. And, ah... Max's place. Okay. Locked. Is that a uh, an elevator? No, an elevator with double doors. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Might be able to get to that from say a different floor. And yeah, Max, one of the uh, one of the two kids. Okay. We have to come back here with the others. That's good. Yeah, get them to break the rules too. You don't think it's worth it? Let's see how much trouble we're in when we get back. Huh. You love it. <laughs> Shut up. So, can I get like a... Uh, Owen, you were right. Thanks for dragging me into this amazing place. I'll think about it. I'll take it. Okay. So, yeah, this is where the family set up. How do we get into that... That elevator, though? And is there anything worth grabbing around here? Oh. Oh, God. Yeah. There's one corpse. That'll be the dad, presumably. So, uh, what have you got on your person? I think this is our boat, Captain. Shit. Dad, I'm taking Max away from here. He can't spend his life locked inside this rotting building. All he'll do is take on your weaknesses. When the soldiers killed Mama, you just stood there like a coward. What kind of example is that? Ah. So, yeah, their mother was killed by the wolves. Because a lot of people seem to have been killed by the wolves, actually. They do appear to be rather nasty pieces of work. To be honest, everyone who supported them against Fedra basically immediately came to the conclusion, oh, wait, these guys are just as bad. So, uh, I want Max to see what it looks like when people are willing to stand up for what they want. And they're willing to make something of their life, and uh, 
Yes, indeed. Right. So they just ran off and then he died but left notes for them downstairs. And there's the scar symbol at the bottom. His kids ran off to join the scars. Jeez. Hmm. Well, on the bright side, I found these keys. Uh, what is wrong with you? He's a skeleton. He doesn't need them. <sighs> I just don't understand how anybody willingly joins the scars. Why not? Because they're an insane cult. That's why. Well, in the QZs, people would refer to the Fireflies as terrorists. Fanatics. We were naive. We weren't fanatical. We blew up checkpoints and assassinated soldiers. It, it's not the same. I'm just saying... Don't say shit like that at the stadium, okay? Okay, all right. I mean, you know... He's right. One thing I saw a lot of when people were talking about the first game was, oh yeah, the Fireflies are the Fireflies are terrorists, which they were, but the important context of that is right at the beginning of the game, we know that Fedra basically, you know, abolished civilian government and democracy. Yeah, the Fireflies were terrorists, but they were terrorists resisting literally a totalitarian military regime that was also catastrophically incompetent given 90% of the QZs we saw in the first game had failed. So, yeah, nobody's, um, nobody's definitely got the right answer. Everybody's got something stupid going on in their past. Everyone's got a bit of a point, but not the full answer. And, uh, the wolves are very much fitting that so far. Still, let's see if we can open up that elevator, or the doors or whatever, with the keys. Because, yeah, we're not nipping back to the boat, not just yet. Got to see if that ring of keys has also got, yeah, something for the, uh, the door over here. Want to try those keys? Oh, yeah. This one? Nope. How about... Got it. Now, Max's place. Damn. One of the kids. Painting this must have taken forever. Well, they had a lot of free time on their hands if their dad just wanted to literally hide here. So, alright. We got ourselves the open ocean experience. No sign of any sea otters yet, which is, you know, bad, fundamentally. But, yeah, just did a bit of uh, bit of painting on all of the walls. Other, other people and animals, and that's their family as octopuses, isn't it? Oh, that's adorable. And yeah, town, because they were all alone. Now, how do we get down here? That's... Don't tell me you want to go down there. Come on. Owen. <laughs> Owen, we need to have a chat Last about thing. water levels in broken down Last buildings. Last thing. Because there's a very real possibility that this place is going to, you know, potentially down. flood if we open the wrong door. This could be very, very disastrously bad. Alright. Well, we're definitely below the water level of some of the tanks here. And this place is not being maintained, but hopefully we'll be fine. Look at these! I love the this kid. I mean, he's a scar. Maybe you have. Ah, it's Jesus. I sure hope not. So, yeah, lots of paintings and whatnot. Solid fort, Max. Excellent craftsmanship. Oh, that's a cute fort. Whoa. Get on in here. And there we go. Anything still alive in here? Yeah. Oh, something is. Is it going to be a spotted seal? See that? Told you they were spotted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, moving for a kiss, then something hits the glass. Somebody's gonna hit the glass. Something hits the glass. Something hits the glass. Any minute now. Human skull. Some form of seal. Or they're just gonna do it. They're just gonna do it down here. Whatever. Slow down? No. It... 
Is it this? It's this, isn't it? You are disgusted by it. <laughs> Come on, Ab. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Talk to me. I know all the leads have dried up. Joel's still out there, you know? I know. What can I do? Let's go back. We can still make training. seals for a little while. So just like Ellie, yeah, she's letting revenge get in the way of her personal relationships. I'm sorry. I told you already. Don't be sorry. to day two. No, very end of day one. Presumably, yeah, trying to track down Owen, see if he's gone rogue. What if Owen's somewhere else? He's there. <sighs> Let's get off the roof before someone sees us. And apparently I'm dragging Manny along too. Can I talk you out of this? No. We don't know what happened. I gotta find him. I mean... If you really killed Danny... Fuck Danny. Oh, what's that? Is that one of ours? Alright, seems to be okay for now. Still don't have any spare holsters. I do appreciate you helping me sneak out like this. How are you getting to the quarry? The highway? Can't. Too many patrols. I could spot it for sure. I'll rough it. Aquarium's due west of here. Keep following the sun, right? I'm coming with you. I've done this before. Not with this many scars in the area. Many, please. All right. You know best. All right, sounds like he was giving up there and willing to let me go alone. So, sounds like sooner or later, it's going to be just me. Oh, this might be it. He might be going to boost me over and then that's it. I'm on my own until I teleport significantly closer to the Ferris wheel. All right. Wish me luck. When you find him, don't hit him too hard. I'll do my best. Seriously, watch yourself out there. See ya. Okay, so, in a couple of days' time... Okay, just follow the sunset. Yeah, towards the sun, marvellous. The thing is, Owen has to be at the aquarium in two days' time together with Mel so that they can both die at that point. And then... We're not 100% sure where Abby is the whole time. She was supposed to be at the aquarium at some point, and uh, Nora, I swear someone said to her, hey, Abby would still be in prison if it wasn't for you. So possibly she gets caught by one of the patrols when this is done. Then Nora helps her escape or something. But then how did she learn about what happened and track down, you know, our little friends back at the theatre in time for the showdown that we're waiting to make our way back to? Okay, still some gaps to fill in. Ugh, what is that smell? Okay, the smell. Break a window. Can I hop in through that? I cannot. What's going on? Possibly infected if it's rot? Don't know. Apparently something smells around here, and it's going to be something unfortunate. Maybe like they're burning corpses. Something of that nature. That sounds about right. Right. Over the top here. Get into cover as fast as possible. Be ready to dive behind a car. What is going on here, precisely? Okay, well-positioned truckers and starting points. That could get me over to... Uh, that get me over to something. There's something on there. Hang on. That is... Ooh, hang on. That's... Wait. 
Is that the same room I was just in? I don't think it is. Break. Break all of that. That doesn't actually help me at all. Or am I supposed to go from here over to... That's too far to jump. Hang on, where am I going? Ah, never mind, it's over there. Okay, sometimes you just need to take a moment to figure out where you're actually going. So there's various locations it could be. It's actually, on this occasion, up here. Just keep on keeping on. Yeah, I've got a good quality axe. That's a really good thing to have. If you get ambushed at short point blank range, uh, nothing to stop you just straight up hitting someone with that. And uh, against humans, uh, that's going to be pretty much most of the time a one hit kill. Lovely. And we're going into tight spaces. Should be A-OK -okay, as long as the floor doesn't collapse. Good spot for jump scares. But yep, thought so. Flipping thought so. Right, back, back, back. Or just flipping stab him with a shiv. Either of the above is fine and... Just hit him with the axe. 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 And uh, anytime you're ready, Abby. Go, 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 go. There we go. No ammo wasted, though. Arguably, that was... That was a bit of a waste of the old axe. Maybe a headshot would have been better. Actually, what would have been better would have been a throwable into a lunge. I should have gone over to the throwable. Because, actually, a brick used to be good at dealing with these guys. So, uh, yeah, that's a shame. That's a lot of axe I just gave up there. But, uh, you know what? Those guys kill you in one hit. I wasn't going to overthink it. I was just going to do whatever worked better. I did just say axe is good because uh, you just, you know, hit things and they tend to die. Sadly, ooh, bloody hell, that's a good pile of medicine again. And actually, that's a good point. Could I have any chance improve? Ooh, I just need half a sticky more, and I could make my axe better. Better and back up to full condition. Now, that'd be nice if someone would like to leave me some sticky tape. Though, for the time being, yeah, plenty of pills, so one more manual to find. Uh, listen mode movement speed into... Uh, Grabbed enemy movement speed, faster pro movement, craft more shivs. No, I'm feeling like this is the more important. Listen mode clarity so I can tell what is and isn't a clicker. That's nice. Hold breath I could do without, though. Yeah, listen mode range is fine. Increased health is obviously fine. That's always going to be a good. But, yeah, not 100% convinced any of them are that spectacular. Ellie's upgrade seem better. Wow, you are just tossing flipping pills at me, aren't you? Keep on keeping on. Drop, down, through, keep moving. May she guide you. Yeah, we're into scar territory. Got it. And be ready to hit the deck. If there's any movement, hit the deck. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, guide you right off a cliff. All right, just. These freaks are in our backyard. Be ready for more flipping ambushes, because they often come just after. Oh, no. Wait, baby. Okay. Interesting. I mean, you know what? Do it. There we go. That'll be a couple of you dead straight away. And you don't know where I am because I didn't make the noise. Okay, two. Go to here. And just grab. And... Come on, come on, come on, faster, 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 and R2 into a uh, strike, and is that a kill? That's more efficient, one throwable into one hit. Yeah, okay, you know what, I think that works pretty well. One pipe bomb, one nice easy takedown, one use of the axe, no health lost, no ammo lost. I'll take it. Though, as I say, if someone would like to give me sticky tape right now, I'd really appreciate it. Nope, that's booze. Like, you know, this was a reception desk or something. It should have sticky tape. All right, everybody needs tape. Everything but tape, obviously. Okay, I see a little sneaky pass over there. Before we get to that, just make sure we've looted everything because... Oh, hang on. That feels more like the way I'm supposed to go. And uh, throwable. Over the top. Was this an alternative? Wait. Don't leave behind parts. What's this over here? Is this... Is this where I was supposed to be? Okay, this was just an alternative way to navigate this battlefield. Sorry, my mistake. Completely missed it. Oh, hang on. Maybe not. 
Tape! Yes, and health top up, and I'm guessing that door is... Okay, I didn't unlock it, so I'm guessing I just ignored that door. Okay, now, 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 yes, I am getting my axe back up to full condition and improved. On top of that, having myself one health kit, and I need another half bottle for, yeah, two more pipe bombs, which would be good. And, yeah, more sticky needed for that. Yeah, okay, rags. Rags tend to be pretty common. They are not the least common things in the world uh, at all. And, actually, ammo is uh, pretty good uh, for the time being. So, uh, for the moment at least, we're fine. Just play it cautious. We should be a-okay. And, hopefully, we'll just be, you know, teleporting our way a bit closer as time goes by here. Right, lights off. Pay attention to where we are. This area feels a little bit open, to be honest. So, be prepared for trouble, potentially. Where am I going? What am I doing? Well, that's easily hoppable. So, get over that. That is... Wow, that was a full boost right there. So, again, it's just the rags I'm now missing. That is... Okay, mysterious rags, but not the sort of rags I can turn into, you know, rags. So, uh, not this way, apparently. Back we go. And, oh, this looks like an ambush to me. Okay, check for trouble. Because these shops... Yeah, there's... No, it's fine. Those are just wind charms. Uh, they're not those things from Half-Life, because this isn't Half-Life. So, can I make it through? Never mind, there was something in there. I just heard something. Maybe just whatever that is. We just head over here. Because I'm pretty sure in here is safe. Is that just... I don't know. I'm just going to start hitting everything. There we go. More bottle. I need more bottle. Safe. Okay. So... So, 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 so. Just start checking for anything that might be a code. So, anything that has, like, six figures in it, for example. So, no. All of those are, yeah, those are five figures max. So, not going to be any of that, unfortunately. Right. Just start checking around. Keep an eye out for notes. You know, because someone will conveniently have written a note saying, hey, I'm going to store my spare ammo in Mrs. What's Her Face's safe. Don't forget the code. I wrote it on a nearby poster or something. Uh, no numbers written here. Yeah, I just sort of check in the walls by default. It seems like the most sensible thing to do under the circumstances. So, just check about. Can I squeeze through here, by the way? No, irritatingly. I'm hearing movement. Okay, what's this? Is this locked up, by the way? Can we open this? No, but there's a way in from above. Alright. Check the other shops. Be ready for trouble. Ah, oh, this is good. Okay, I'm enjoying Loot Street over here. This is just a giant old pile of loot right here. And we've got just enough for more throwable bombs. So straight up to four. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. That's good. Those bombs are really, really nice. So uh, stay with silence to four now. And grab myself basically whatever's flipping going. Anyway, we need to go in here because we need to find our way upstairs. So be ready to fall back in the event of uh, ambush. Yeah. we got to find ourselves some notes upstairs. We good? My sense isn't detecting anything. We should be. Damn it! Just stay out of my way. Oh, never mind. Something's just appeared. Okay, that sounds like a clicker. I mean, you can tell because it's making a clicky noise. Okay. Drop down. You're moving pretty slow. Yeah, you're a clicker. I think they're both clickers. If they're both clickers, that's honestly pretty much as good as it gets. Because then I can just take both of them out with no trouble. Just wait for it to come over to me. And then we just grab. 
And yeah, and yeah, we just shiv. We have to shiv. The shiv. Oh, that makes noise now. Okay. Uh, well, then we're just getting out of here, uh, basically. Uh, because I'm pretty sure there's nothing you can do about that. So basically, screw you. Uh, yeah, okay. So if I want to take down clickers, I have no choice but to use shivs. There's no non shiv option. There's throwable into axe, which arguably is the better option, really. And just wait for him to be not not here. As soon as you go away, I'm going into yeah, throwable them. Never mind, you just knew where I was. Okay, that was very good detection for an enemy who's bloody blind. Right, get the bottle ready to go. That's what we're gonna do. And go and 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 I just shivved. I shouldn't have shivved. That was dumb. I should have done a strike. The shivs are more valuable, but never mind. All right, bare minimum. At least I've got some more loot. New throwable. And yeah, I can get across nice and easy. Well, presuming there's going to be a note about the safe. So I could have just bypassed this whole area. But screw that nonsense. These little small areas where they're interesting to explore and whatever. They're actually my favourites. So, okay. Keep on keeping on. Nothing major going on. And jump. And... Okay. Generally, I don't miss the jump. So that's fine. I don't feel too bad. That's more like it. Second time's a charm. Right, do you need me to do any more of that business? Because I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of out of... Uh... Oh, I'm out of shivs now. Okay, so now, yeah, clickers are actually a lot more trouble than they used to be. There it is, there's the note. Right, give me the safe combo. Right, for once, it's not actually a riddle or on a wall or something. It's just given to me. So, 68, 96, 89. Or, John, easy to remember, 6, 8, 9 times 2. Yes, that's much easier. And I can also drop down into this shot. Which worries me a little bit. But yeah, I figured as much. Screw you. I figured we wouldn't get through this without at least one jump scare. Still. That's only... Ooh. I'm very glad I came down this way. What precisely am I looking at here? Is that double-barreled shotgun? I don't know. I'm not good with anything. Yes, double-barreled shotgun. Good, 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 good. So, okay. What I really need is more flipping holsters. Because I've only got... Wow. Okay. Bit of extra ammo for that, actually. You know what? I'll flip and take it. If somebody's going to charge me at point-blank range... Uh, yeah, 100%. At range, use the silenced weaponry. If it starts getting nasty and up close and personal... Shotgun them in the face. Boom. And there's more trouble yet, by the way. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Uh, yes, like, right now, for example. Right the flip now. Uh, basically, so dodge and then... No, you don't. Bye. Uh, so the axe. The upgraded axe. That'll do. Right. Yep, more of them coming through the bloody ceiling. I haven't made a mess of this place, to be honest. I really could do by just running into all these priceless vases, which I'm going to do on the way out, obviously. But so far, I've been pretty good. Right. Cracker open from the inside, and now I can take my reward. So honestly, I feel like we've done pretty well so far. And there we go. Oh, now that's beautiful, including... New skill book. And a bit of health too. Urban Warrior. Okay. Melee combat book. Flippin' love it. So, grab myself health. Grab myself... Oh, it's tons of medicine. Yep. I'll be taking all of that. Right. Right, 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 right. That's probably the last of... Yep, that's the last of the... Never mind. The fourth one just appeared. Uh, okay. Momentum. Kill an enemy with a strike. And you can... Wow. You can have another strike. That's actually pretty good. And more healing. Uh, aim stability, faster healing, and finally more momentum. You know what? That sounds fun. I'll give that a go. Sure. So if I do a strike now. So uh, yeah, now I want to be using my throwables to stagger rather than anything else. Because actually, now I can go from one strike straight into another. And that should be enough to... In all fairness, yeah, my basic act should be able to one-shot anything anyway, but whatever, eh? I'll gladly take it. All right, so. So, 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 so. Only a matter of time until... Ooh, uh, all right. Possibly we're heading into Chinatown proper. That's cool. That's a fun little environment to fight my way through. Martyr's Gate. Truce is dead, but you just keep coming back here. 
Didn't we just clean all this shit up? Martyr's Gate. Ah! Is this where we murdered a bunch of children and their response was to lay flowers and Abby's response is, wow, what a bunch of shit. I'm just going to, you know, take the flowers off this memorial because I'm pretty sure that's what we're seeing here and it does not paint Abby in a good light. Okay. This shipping container has become a, a thing. What is this? Precisely. Good little spin there, Abby. Well done. And uh, my prophet, I ask you, grant me, may you bring me. Perhaps what I ask is impossible, but I must ask. Bless the wolves with your insight, with your wisdom, with your love, that they might renounce their selfish ways and lay down their arms. May you bring peace to this world. Now, okay, that was a private note written in a shrine. So, uh, in general... I'm coming to a better impression of, you know, the Scars than the Wolves right now. Because a lot of people want to leave Fedra, join the Wolves. The moment the Wolves took over, everyone was like, oh, I hate this too. We're going to go join the Scars instead. Lots of people not leaving the Scars. All right. They can't be doing too badly because they seem to be doing a really good job recruiting. You want peace? Easy. Stay on your island. Okay, so yes, once again, Abby just wants them out of the city and wants to potentially genocide them. And also, when you say stay in your island, you're literally about to go and invade their island. So, yeah, basically, I'm on Team Scar now for the time being. 100% Team Scar, just for the moment at least. I'm sure they're horrible people too, but then so's everyone in this game. It's fine. Ah, and this note's actually from a wolf who spoke to presumably, yes, the woman who's in all the... Uh, the pictures, so lots of BS, etc. But, yeah, outbreak day, wake up call, not all of us woke up, it was just getting interesting. So, uh, whoever this woman is, she's apparently catastrophically charismatic. Interesting, and it seems they've captured her, which no one mentioned before this point as far as I'm aware. But yeah, after hanging out with her, I get what she's saying. I think her followers are loons, but she has a way about her that draws you in. Yeah, so uh, it seems the wolves have actually got their leader captive. And not just their leader, but like their their prophet. So uh, that would explain a lot. Yes, we murdered their children and stole their prophet. Isaac. You turned a crazy person into a martyr. Oh. She's dead. Right, Martyr Gate. Yes, basically the wolves were so catastrophically incompetent, they managed to martyr her. Okay, yeah, I didn't realise she was dead, and that's why. Okay, so yes, you murdered their prophet, you murdered their children, then you act all surprised when they started murdering you. Isaac, not a smart man. Alright, let's keep on keeping on for now. See what we got, grab it all, move straight on. And, aha, holster, bloody hell, finally. So now I can use, yeah, the big nasty thing. And I've only got, uh, yeah, I've only got two of them, so that's fine. Uh, so yeah, primary weapon should be that anyway. That's a lot of stabby, by the way. Marvellous. Keep on keeping on and uh, head straight through as best we can. Including, ooh, that's got five hits to my three. But my three are improved, so I'm going to leave it for now. And... <sighs> Never mind, that just brought me to precisely where I started. Ah, we've got more notes on the outside too. Hang on, we can learn a bit more about this. Nothing too dramatic there. Clean the world, sickness starts new, etc. Blah, blah, blah. And, uh, oh, there's loads of them. Okay. Nothing too dramatic in there as best as I can tell. So, okay. Hop over the other side. Possibly this is where I was supposed to be going the whole time. Oh, yeah. And so it came to pass. Up we flip in, go, and into Chinatown. And, okay, we might have some... Ooh. Okay, it's going to get darker. Fine. I'm guessing I'm not actually on the clock. It just gets, you know, darker as I go through certain buildings to disguise the change. Which is, you know, perfectly clever and very good. So, alright, we're going to be going into trouble here. Because grass. But actually, it's just a clicker. Oh, Never mind. It's not. It's, it's definitely not. Okay. So... Clip after Martyr's Gate. Where am I actually going, by the way? I need to, yeah, get these folks. There's 
there's going to be three coming in this direction. When you're prone in long grass, you're very invisible. And watchtowers, Elder Sagrido is ready. What's Haven, precisely? It sounds like the best thing I could do might well be to... Oh, what's the best way to go? I think they're looping around that way through the shops. So, lights off. And then get down over here. Because I think this area is relatively not being watched right now. Oh. Never mind. I want to say not being watched. There's like several of them right here. Uh, are you about to come out of here or are you just in that building? I think they're just in that building. I think they're going to stay in there. Is there a door? No, oh, this way. Just swing the camera around. Yeah, there is. Okay. That way's open. And they're actually going to come through here. The question is, do I want to try and pick them off? And I'm not sure I do. I think I just want to get through here, get down, and then let them do their thing over there. No need to cause trouble. You might be able to just stealth this whole area. Just get him. Grab the ammo. And oh, 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 oh. Who's... Get down, and then get into the long grass. There was a whistle, which might indicate they were a little bit suspicious of something. But, don't know. Hard to tell. I mean, I know one of them was up there. Is that, uh... Is that one in the window right there? He's outside of listen range, but I think it might be. If I could pop him in the head right now, that'd be really good. If I could just get into the right position to have a decent shot. I mean, I think... I think that's a person. I think. And... Okay. Uh, slight issue is uh, they realised that that was happening straight away. So they know, they know it was coming from this sort of a direction. But if I just move around the corner over here, they should be going the wrong way. Alright, stay over here, stay in the long grass. I see, oh, that's way too many of them. Okay, I was kind of thinking I'd be able to get away with that without them knowing what was going on. Okay, you're coming down. You're over here now. If you'd like to be... Hiding inside the shop all by yourself, then I might be able to just get on you and take you down without anyone else seeing, which would be good. Grab. Get her down, 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 get her down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster. Abby, Abby, come on. Okay. I see you coming in over here. Everyone else seems pretty far away, actually, which might mean we can get you right now. Which door are you going to? Are you going right over there? Because if you are, then we just get over to you and grab and we bring you down too. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Down you go. Nice and quiet, my friend, nice and quiet. And if you'd like to be spotted by your friends, I'm honestly kind of okay with that. So one bullet, the sniper's down and, uh, uh oh, back over here. Get over here. I'd like you to see your friend, please. I'd like you to see your friend right now. I'd like you to come in here and go, oh no, it's Tim. He's, he's super dead and I liked Tim. He made good coffee. And with that, grab and bring you down. Down, 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 down onto the pile. This is the best way to do it. Just make a pile and then just bring people into it one by one. It works surprisingly well. and gives you basically infinite, uh, yeah, melee weapons. Uh, okay. Okay. I see two over there. Which direction are they going to be going in? That's also, that isn't even a full condition axe, which is unfortunate. Do I want to bother? 
going over there and dealing with them. I mean, if you want to come over here, then you are going to die in the exact same way as everybody else inside this place. And oh no, there's another person. There's another one right there. There's another one right there. Okay, wait. I see you. Oh, there's actually two over there who are way closer than what I'd like. There's one further away in that direction. I see ya. Yeah. I'd like him to see that corpse. Go and investigate it. Get brought down. You're over there too. Oh, there's... There's more of them than I'd like. Actually, I think that one got bored and wanted off. I think that one got bored and wanted off. They're sort of homing in on me. But for the time being, we should be okay. I'd like you to see these bodies. And there's no one over there for the time being. You're going to see them bodies, aren't you? Here you are. What the? You're going to be like, oh no. What? Oh, it's Tim. Oh shit, I liked Tim. <whistles> he does a big old whistle. Which is going to draw in that one over there. And then... Then I'd like to do is go 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 grab him and then and then okay now things have gone a bit on the nasty side uh, which is fine dive and start crawling if we're lucky that might have been where they couldn't see anymore okay that's that's not great cover but this over here this is further away someone took a shot at me. But it was a real glancing blow. Too close. We're good. Cross. Go down. There's going to be a lot of attention over on that side now. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya. Yeah, why don't you just follow me into the long grass? That's a good place for you to go. Oh yeah, you're trying to, to track me down, aren't ya? Okay, well that's A-OK. -okay. What we need to do then is just stay around and grab and bring you down. And you're about to... Yeah, you're probably about to see me, to be honest, because I'm not very good at... Okay, just go! Grab! Uh, no, no, no! Get him! Oh! That was a flying kick for the ages. Well done. And who else have we got, by the way? Okay, somebody. Somebody. There's someone else still whistling. Move out of position. And I might want to use the last of my axe just to finish you off. So, my friend, why don't you come and investigate? Oh, you've got a bow. Wait, there are two of them. Oh, there's two. Okay. That's that's a okay. You wanna Oh, I can't bloody see. Uh I can't I can't bloody about that. There we go. That'll be you nice and Did you just survive that? Someone's still alive, uh, which is not good. And... Not anymore, you're not. Come on, that's got to be a lot. I've killed a lot of people. So honestly, I'm pretty happy with how efficient that's been so far. We good? Well, the music's calmed down. Sadly, I've not got a companion to stand up and go, Well, I think that's all of them. So... Uh, all right, I think we're cool for the time being. Just be ready to hit the deck if I hear the uh, the music again. Oh, free health kit too. Okay, good. That went pretty well. And tape. Everyone loves tape. Okay, the sharpshooter was up there. So there's got to be a way through that building. I'm going to be honest. I thought I'd taken out the... Oh, yes, I have taken out the sharpshooter. Uh, you just mean that I need to go up in the world. Got it. You can come back for him some other time. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just make sure we've got everything before we move on. Alright, just going deeper and deeper into the ruins of the building. I'm going to say deeper, I mean up actually. But like, you know, this seems to be the the right way to go. And yeah, just a little bit deeper. Not sure where we're trying to get to precisely. But you know, it wouldn't be a Last of Us game. We didn't go the least possible efficient route literally everywhere. Right, tons of ammo. That never flipping hurts. And uh, some more notes. Nothing too dramatic, just initiation rituals. Da, 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 da. I do, however, rather like their super old school crafting table. That's nice. And uh, oh my, yes, we're increasing the damage of the shotgun. 
Obviously, we're doing that, yes. And I can craft a silencer too. I've got the materials for that. Spectacular. And can I actually... No, I can't further improve the axe. But I can get some shivs going on, so... Okay, at the bare minimum, in terms of, yeah, looting or whatever, we're in good shape. Oh, we got trouble. Just keep heading down. It will serve its purpose. All right. The question is, do I want to fight these guys? Because I could blow up two of them right now. Yes, yeah, screw it, go. Hi, here's a bomb. Right, well, that's you guys exploded. And now, now we just need to... I probably shouldn't have done that, to be honest. Uh, they're probably going to object to that at some point going forward. How about you guys uh, come over here and scour them? Okay, how many are we dealing with? Because it doesn't look like it's, it's many, to be perfectly honest. And actually, you know what? You, my friend... We're just going to grab you. Grab, 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 grab. And then no need for a, a shiv. Save them for the clickers. All right. We want them for the clickers. All right. That's fine. And now we've got ourselves some delicious, delicious bait. All right. We've got ourselves idiot bait. And are you going to come? Oh, there's, there's more here than I was expecting. There's always more here than I'm expecting. This is just, you know... A pretty constant thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're coming up over here. So that means it's time for me to go down. That was a lot more of a drop than I was expecting. You know what? Time to swap out the axe for something with a little bit more stopping power. And jump! Seriously, get down. Okay, so we know you guys are downstairs from where I am. But I swear there's like... There's some people who are upstairs, right? I'm going to be where I think I am in terms of time and round the corner. Round the corner. Round the corner. You just thought you saw... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, there's... There's... There's more. There's quite a few... Quite a few more than what I was expecting, right? You guys have naffed off over there. You're coming over... You're coming over here, aren't you? Well, that's absolutely... Fine, we're just going to grab ya and see you down nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. Okay, this is this is fine. Okay, and there's another one right over there. Who's going to be immediately grabbed and brought down? There we go. Lovely. Down you go. Lovely, wonderful little breadcrumb. There was another one on this floor. Uh, but I think they move around floor to floor. There you go. I thought there was one more over here. Right, this is going pretty well so far. There's a little bit of health. That should be enough to get me up to max, actually. And yeah, I see you over there. Is there any more on this floor? There's you. If you'd like to come over here, honestly, I'm going to consider that a massive... Massive success. Yeah, this door right here. Spectacular. So, grab, and then sort of teleported straight through the door frame there, Abby. But I'm not going to complain under the circumstances. Down you go. Right. Good. Good, 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 good. That's positive right there. Now, I could snipe from above. I mean, I've got the high ground. I've got the high ground here. That's good. Or I could go and complain to human resources. Oh, there was someone over there. I mean, I've got the silenced weaponry. If I see an isolated one, then taking them down would not be too tricky. Right. I think you, my friend, are fairly alone for the time being. That's just a wooden stick. Yep, naturally, we're going to have to fight our way through all of this nonsense because why would we not? Uh, okay. I mean, I... See, I can get down here. Where's the... Oh! There's the corridor. FYI. Uh, okay. Oh, there's one of those lads with a big-ass hammer. I wonder if you need a... Oh! Um, I'm gonna be honest. You were not... Grab! Bring you down. Okay, I completely... 
completely got the wrong end of the stick as to how this floor was arranged, but it sort of seems to have worked out. He's got a he's got a spiky club. Ooh. Okay, so hello there and go go no uh oh maybe don't try and melee the melee lads. Uh, go go go. Okay, screw it. Go. Uh, this has gone wrong. Go. Just pull out a shotgun. Look, how is it not loaded? The, no! Bloody hell! Your one job was to fire the cocking shitting. Okay, now I've gone down. You know what? This is fine. Um, I'm fine with this. Just go! That's water! Apparently that was bad water. Like, literally earlier I fell off a ferris wheel into water from way higher than that, but okay. Just keep heading down. Okay, I think I was actually only seconds away from this little cutscene because now, oh. Now I've been knocked unconscious. I was seconds away from triggering that. If you just made it down to the end of the slope without hitting the water, then something, um, something very bad of this. Ooh. Okay. Four months ago. And, uh, once again, we're oh, visiting the aquarium. Okay, I'm guessing I'm about to be taken as a prisoner. Oh, hey. Is everything all right? Yeah. Is this a bad time? No. no. Okay, so he wasn't joking about making this his special place. He's just started to, you know, own the aquarium. So, what's up? We got orders? Sort of. Sort of. You know what? Just, how about we hold off on the Isaac talk? For just a minute. Oh, and... When's the last time you were here? Look around. Take it all in. What did you do? Eh, you know, just rip out some vines, paint some walls. Gonna be honest, you're a better artist than the kid was. That's, that's certainly true. You've done a nice little job with this. Is Alice out here? She's out with Mel. Can I squeeze the- Yes, I can squeeze it! Oh my goodness. It's always go squeak. That's adorable. You guys doing okay? Dating life's good? Uh, for the most part, yeah, I mean, she can be really sweet. Must feel nice after me. Well, under that badass exterior, you can be pretty sweet too. You have a bad memory. Selective memory. Okay, so uh, four months ago, for some reason, we just decided to come and see Owen. But I would say uh, that is enough for now, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, next time, uh, yeah, we'll see why four months ago I decided to, uh, yeah, come and visit Owen. What he's done to the place, uh, all of that good stuff. Because uh, presumably I had a reason uh, for doing this. Like, say, uh, inviting him uh, to come along on my hunt for Joel. And he's probably going to tell me... Uh, about the pregnancy, which given how much, yeah, she was showing in the present four months ago, maybe she only just found out. So, uh, yeah, could well be a bit of drama here, and we'll see where this is going. And also, uh, yeah, where the, uh, where the scars are actually based, because I suspect it's not going to be a nice place. I suspect once I see that, I won't be on Team Scar anymore, because in general in this game, uh, don't be on team anybody. Everybody's a dick. So we'll see if that turns out to be true next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I'm Big Johnson. There's been many a true nerd. And this has been The Last of Us Part 2. Thank you very much and goodbye. Wait, wait. And flamethrower! 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 Okay, so this is... This is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially, you've gone over the line.